OTP program admittance. You must first explain to the caregivers what will happen now as their child enters the OTP program. Once the caregiver has agreed to the OTP program, you will register the child's screening results on the OTP card and begin immediate treatment following the outpatient therapeutic program protocol. By this time, you should have designated a week of the day that will be standard OTP day for your village. Children joining the OTP program should be given enough ready-to-use therapeutic foods to last them until the next OTP date, after which they will receive weekly rations. Counseling on ready-to-use therapeutic foods. You should inform caretakers that ready-to-use therapeutic food is a food and medicine for malnourished children only. It should not be shared with other members of the family. For breastfed children, Always give breast milk before the ready-to-use therapeutic food and on-demand, ready-to-use therapeutic food should be given before other foods. Give small regular meals of ready-to-use therapeutic foods and encourage the child to eat often, every three to four hours. Always offer plenty of clean water to drink while eating ready-to-use therapeutic foods. Caretakers should use soap and water to wash his or her hands before feeding. Keep food clean and covered. Sick children get cold quickly. Always keep the child covered and warm. Ready to use therapeutic foods are given to children based on their weight. You have to refer to the prescription table before prescribing and give the ready to use therapeutic foods accordingly. Checking weight of a child. Weight is used to follow the progress of the child and subsequently decide the completion of treatment. You should take the following steps to measure weight. Explain the procedure to the child's mother or caregiver before starting. Install a 25 kilogram hanging spring scale graduated by 100 grams. If mobile weighing is needed, the scale can be hooked on a tree or a stick held by two people. Attach the washing basin or pants and recalibrate to zero. Remove the child's clothing and place him or her into the basin. Ensure nothing is touching the child and the basin or pants. Read the scale at eye level. If the child is moving about and the needle does not stabilize, estimate weight by using the value situated at the midpoint of the range of oscillations. When the child is steady, read the measurement to the nearest 100 grams and record. Make sure that you calibrate the scale with a material with known weight every week in order to keep the accuracy of the scales. Mm -hmm.